So Ski Mask the Slump God has just released his newest EP, which I consider this as an EP, not an album, because it's 10 tracks and it's only 21 um, minutes. So I will treat this as a EP and grade the songs as the individual quality of the songs. Now, of course, Ski Mask the Slump God is a person who comes from Florida and he blew up along with X, Little Pump. And all kinds of Floridians. I think uh, Smoke Perp he also blew up with. So yes, that whole class of SoundCloud Floridian rap, which was very popular, he's part of it. And he has just released his newest EP. So let's get into it. So we start so we start off with the first track which is Lost Souls which could be a reference to the book of Eli since that movie also had um the bible in it and the bible talks about lost souls in hell and a sea of lost souls collected by the devil so you're starting out with some real deep shit when it came to like trap bangers and of course uh ski mask he does a reference to little bitch which could be a reference to his good friend made in tokyo also could be a reference to big sean so that's something we have to look out for Oh, yes, and there's also a reference to how he greets women with a roar. So that could also maybe be a slight nod to Katy Perry, you know. And Rich the Kid is on here, and he also has this little thing where he said black and white like a skunk, which was pretty cool. I like that line. Now, for this track, I'm going to grade it a three. It was okay at best. But Rich the Kid sounds so generic and his flows just didn't, 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 didn't. It's not like um, Ski Master Slump God's flow where he does multiple voices with his speedy rap. So, yeah, it kind of bored me a little bit when it came to Rich Kid. Now, Run, which could be a reference to Run Through the Jungle since he's the monkey of the jungle which is a track that we will be talking about a little later throughout the track. But yeah, I really like it. I really like the energy he brings to this. And especially when he says, run, motherfucker, run, motherfucker, run. So rarely, I really like this whole track. And I really like the line where he says, in your head like a sewing. So I'm just going to give this um, track a good four. All right, now throw away. Well, I can appreciate that he's a little bit like um, conscious of his bad songs because this is just a filler and a throwaway, pun intended. And Ronnie J was pretty horrible on this track. I mean, the auto tune really did not mesh well with his voice. I'm going to give this track a 1.5. Very horrible song. And I find that KKK reference a little bit uh, tasteless, to tell you the truth when it came to like his lyrics to tell you. Now, I have no problem with a black artist um, appropriating and reavising or revising the whole idea of racial themes when it came to like white people. Case in point, Coolest Monkey in the Jungle, which I thought that it was a really nice like turn on the whole HLM little controversy and him calling himself the coolest monkey in the jungle kind of uh w like what um what Kendrick Lamar did on the darker the berry you know or the blacker the berry so yeah I really appreciated this song until I heard the feature and I'm like oh my gosh I can't even say his name some demonic bruh like, I don't know what how to s pronounce his name, but he was absolutely atrocious on this song. He actually had this one, one line about putting a thumb in a girl's butt. Like, really, bro? You're just gross as fuck. And he, he really ruined the track for me. But overall, I do like the little flute sample. It's one of the most creative flute samples I heard in hip-hop since uh, Mask Off, to tell you the truth. It's beautiful, uh, to tell you. Even with the track being ruined by the guest feature, overall, the beat and Ski Mask flow saves this track. I'm going to give it a four. It's beautiful. Especially that added verse where Ski Mask, the slump god, reference 619. I really appreciated that little uh, line right there. I, I really miss 619, to tell you the truth. Now, Suicide... 
Now, suicide season is kind of a more basic track, to tell you the truth. I'm sorry, the track kind of rubbed me off in the wrong way since it's talking about suicide and he's doing this smooth, like, deep voice. It kind of really makes me feel like he doesn't really know the deep concepts and um, likely aftermath of suicide it really kind of turns me off. It's the worst suicide song I heard since Logic's 1-800 um, number track. So yeah, to tell you the truth, I didn't really like it. It seemed more romantic than tragic, especially when he referenced hunting the KKK, which you could think, why is he referencing that on a track called Suicide Season? Somebody could interpret that as in it's suicide trying to fuck with the KKK. So I really didn't like that. So overall, I'm going to give the track a two. I didn't really like it that much. Now, Sauce is an overall improvement. It's just that it sounds like in the booth, he was a little bored and wasn't paying attention. So when the ad lib, uh -huh, uh -huh, like what he was doing really got annoying very quickly. But overall, uh, utter improvement. I'm going to give it a 2.5 to tell you the truth. Oh, yes. And he does the best Erica Badu reference since Logic's Erica Badu track where he says uh, I want that Erica Badu make you as wet as a bayou I really thought that that was clever all right now geeking is a track I really like for some apparent reason I think it's kind of like Drake's prey you know uh preach I mean it's like Drake's preach where you have a artist who you know can't really sing but he brings so much uniqueness and personality to the vocals that you can't uh, fight yourself you can't fight it to love it like you just have to love it to tell you the truth so really that's how I feel about this track it's pretty great you know and I'm going to give the track a four it's pretty cool and solid and one of the most laid back feeling songs like one of the most laid back feel track on the track listing to tell you the truth it's cool child's play i really like the track child play i really feel that it's the best reference to child play since i would say the ghetto boys it's a very cool track i love the loud booming instrumental and i really like um how Ski Master Slump God seems like he put more effort into his vocals, making it louder and more intimidating, especially when he does that, <coughs> like he's getting his vocals ready. I really love that effect. And I'm going to give Child's Play a five as it was a pretty good song. Now, the song Dapper, I really like it. You know, I re he goes back to like formats like yup, 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 except he does it much more coolly than I could. And uh, I really like the whole line where he says this quirky thing where he says she sucks my dick. It tastes like lo mein, like really, really. And he even referenced a Asian chick and wonders if her father is racist. Like, and that really got to me. Like, very few people talk about how Asian people could be racist, too. But, yeah, that's how I feel about the track. Overall, I'm going to give the track a... I'm going to give the track a solid three. It was a pretty good track. All right, now, the last track on here, of course, features, again, Rich the Kid. But don't worry. He actually brings much more energy and actually charisma than he did the last track which was Lost Souls, to tell you the truth. It's a pretty good way to end the whole EP. And you know what? I just wish the EP was longer. Now, how I feel about this track is a 3.5. It was a utterly good track, to tell you the truth. And that's how I feel about the Book of Eli. I really thought that the leaked version was better, to tell you the truth. But hey, that's just me. How do you feel about this uh, new EP that he have did so uh, please comment in the comment section please like and subscribe and share this video and hey that's all i have to say so yeah and i just like to give a shout out to the rap reviewer um where we maybe will do a review on you know uh cardi cardi playboy cardi shit i forgot his name damn hmm